I think they have one foot out the door. The challenge is huge. Is it a foregone conclusion? And uh, three or four toes also out the door. Or is there a glimmer of hope? Anaheim's not necessarily a great NBA mark. We don't really know. Well, the big question for the Maloofs is whether or not to move. At the end of the day, we were not trying to seek out the ultimate purchase price. Could Sacramento learn some big lessons? You can go in there with a hypothetical plan, but no one's going to take you seriously. From a market who already lost their team. Okay, there's a little bit of daylight here. Not good yet. We all thought the team was in safe hands. Jason Reed knows firsthand what Sacramento is going through to keep the Kings. When a team decides that they want to move or it's not economically viable for them to stay in a region or an arena, then they're going to leave regardless of how the fans feel. As you know, in 2001, a group primarily made up of Seattle-based businessmen came together to establish the Basketball Club of Seattle. Reed was part of a grassroots effort that tried to keep the Supersonics in Seattle. Just as the NBA's Board of Governors gathers to vote on allowing the franchise to move. His film, Sonic's Gate, chronicles the mistakes that led to the move of the NBA franchise from Seattle to Oklahoma City. Mistakes that have a familiar ring to them. We could not engender the leadership of the marketplace to support the development of a new building. In fact, Reed says that was Seattle's biggest mistake, going into the NBA Board of Governors meeting with no arena plan, something the city of Sacramento doesn't have either. We didn't have representation in that room. Meanwhile, Oklahoma City has the governor, the mayor, the business leaders. They have an arena plan that was pa passed by taxpayers to renovate the Ford Center. We as a community still have a little bit of time on our clock, not a lot. In a sit-down interview with CBS 13, Mayor Kevin Johnson says the NBA has made it clear they want better facilities. That is similar to Sacramento, no doubt. Arco, we have the oldest arena in the NBA, and it's not suitable as substandard. But he thinks the similarities end there, saying the Seattle comparison isn't accurate. The renderings and the, the, you know, the dog and pony show that was put on, I think was great for Oklahoma City because they knew they were going to win it. You're trying to do it at the toughest time in recent economic history, period. Mark Kreidler, a sports commentator on KHTK, says it will be hard to sell keeping the team in Sacramento with no new arena and no plan to put on the table. But does that seal the King's fate? I'm not a big believer that, that, that actually going to the Board of Governors is going to make a lot of difference. He says it's not about the plan, it's about the money where the Maloofs can get the best bang for their buck. I think if you get to the point where they're going to the Board of Governors and saying we want approval, it means they've got everything in place. As we're sitting here talking, I believe they don't have everything in place. Still leaving the question, could we learn from what happened with the Supersonics? I think the key is to, to have a plan at that Board of Governors meeting for your city or else they're going to they're gonna be able to vote to move them to another city. The Kings aren't a foregone conclusion because Ultimately, the Maloofs have to make that decision. I hope it's one that our noise and our effort and our love and our loyalty is enough to keep them here. But if not, we have to respect their business decision.